Hello friends, welcome to the Dart Frog Full Course 2023 tutorial. Whether you're a complete beginner or have some programming experience, this course is designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge needed to develop your full stack mobile app from scratch with Dart Frog and Flutter. In this comprehensive course, we'll cover everything you need to know to bring your app ideas to life, step by step using Dart. From the basics of app architecture to advanced topics like data caching, authentication, and API integration using Datfrog. So what will we learn? We'll start by exploring what Datfrog is, the main features and make up Datfrog and why it plays a big role in Flutter development. So no prior programming experience, no problem, I'll take you through a crash course on the fundamentals of Dart programming language that's beginner friendly. You learn about variables and data types, loops and conditional statements. We'll also take a walkthrough on the layout structure of the app that we'll design in Flutter by the end of this tutorial. We'll also learn how to implement the core functionalities of Dartfrog We'll cover topics like roots, middleware, and dependency injections that will make the app come to life. We'll discover how to integrate databases into the app to store and retrieve data in Datfrog. We'll explore Firebase and MongoDB, which are cloud NoSQL databases, and PostgreSQL, which is a relational database, and show you how to perform CRUD, create, read, update, and delete operations. We'll take the app to the next level by connecting it to external services using REST APIs in Datfrog. You learn how to fetch data and incorporate it seamlessly into your app. And in backend engineering, like in Datfrog, security features play a pivotal role in safeguarding the integrity and confidentiality of data. So these features encompass measures such as authentication and authorization mechanisms to control user access, session management, and handling costs, cross-origin resource sharing mechanism. We'll get to see all that. So what's Datfrog? First, Datfrog is a backend framework. A backend framework is a pre-built collection of tools, libraries, and templates that simplifies and accelerates the process of building the server-side components of a mobile app or even a web application. So examples of popular backend frameworks include Django for Python, Ruby on Rails for Ruby, and even Laravel for PHP. So think of a backend framework as a toolbox that empowers developers to streamline the development process and create robust, efficient, and secure applications that contain code that handle tasks related to things like data processing, database interactions, business logic, and other operations that enable the functionality of our mobile app. Datfrog is a lightweight backend framework for Dart. The goal of Datfrog is to enhance the efficiency of, for us, Flutter or Dart developers by offering a consolidated tech stack, which is Dart. And this enables us to optimize our productivity. This means as Flutter developers, we can code using Dart for our Flutter applications and still proceed to create backends for those applications using Dart thanks to Datfrog. So why Dart? Dart is known for a number of features. Uh, Dart is statistically typed, which means variable types are known at compile time. This helps catch type-related errors early in the development process. Dart also supports just-in-time compilation, which allows for faster development cycles and debugging, and also supports ahead of time compilation, which enhances performance by compiling code ahead of time. Dart is object, object oriented, which supports classes, objects, inheritance, encapsulations, making it conducive to building complex software systems with organized code structures. 
that development experience is boosted by its hot reload feature, allowing developers to quickly see the effects of code changes in real time during application development. And also Dart has a suite of powerful development tools, including the Dart SDK, the Dart Dev tools for debugging and profiling, and a range of extensions for popular IDEs like Visual Studio Code. So just a quick one. Some of you may be asking, what's the difference between ServerPod and Dart Frog, or why would I need one or the other? So ServerPod is an application server, while Dart Frog is a backend framework. An application server is a runtime environment responsible for handling client requests, executing application, the logic of applications that run in it. It is the infrastructure and set of resources that allow these applications to run and execute. For example, Apache or Tomcat. While a backend framework is a set of tools and conventions like libraries or plugins used to build and structure the code base, for example, Laravel or Ruby on Rails. So a backend framework can run in an application server. ServerPod is also for Flutter developers and built in Dart with amazing capabilities that include caching, logging, authentication, ORM for PostgreSQL within its infrastructure. So to learn more, head over to the server pod and Flutter tutorial. I'll leave the link in the description down below. If you are wondering, so why that frog? According to me, it will be difficult to create a bespoke architecture for your application outside what's in server pods infrastructure. For example, if I want to use a different ORM or a different database. And I think that's where Dafro comes in handy because the backend framework is not tied to specific components and gives you freedom to use any of your preferred tools or technologies with that with that frog. Makes sense? So we'll proceed and see how. By the end of this course, you'll be able to build your own full stack apps with Flutter as a front-end framework and Datfrog as a back-end framework and turn your creative ideas into reality as a full-stack Dart developer. If you're ready, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Don't miss out and see you in the, in the course.